How you doing, good people? This is the Aid Ben Adam. Okay, so this is going to be real, real quick. Um, what you're looking at right now is gameplay footage from Super 3D Noah's Ark. It's the only unlicensed game to ever be released in the U.S. for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, the good folks at Wisdom Tree who are responsible for all of those... Um, whether you love them or hate them, all of those really, really interesting Bible games that came out on the NES released this game, I don't even remember the year, at some point in the 90s, that's all I'm going to say. They, and if it looks familiar to you, it's because the urban myth goes that um, the folks that developed this Super NES port of Wolfenstein 3D basically gave them the code to play around with after Nintendo insisted on them toning down the violence in Wolfenstein 3D. Nobody knows if that's true. It's merely gaming legend right now. So that's why Super 3D Noah's Art looks like Wolfenstein 3D. Well, Super 3D Noah's Ark is also known for being an incredibly pricey game on the Super NES. Um, copies have regularly started at about 150 bucks for a copy. And while it's something that I've always wanted in my collection, never been able to get it until now. Because apparently Wisdom Tree is not only still around, but Wisdom Tree is doing a reprint of Super 3D's no Super 3D Noah's Ark. And you can get a copy for $65 plus $75 plus $7 shipping. So 72 bucks you could have a copy of Super 3D's no Super 3D Noah's Ark, which is probably around the retail price for the game when it came out. Um but you can't go online to get it. You have to order one via email you have to special order it via email from wisdom tree um i will try to get the email information and include it with the video um but yeah it's real cool that they're doing this and it's going to be real interesting to see if to see if the cart the weird cartridge setup is going to remain the same where you had to kind of piggyback a cartridge on top of the Super 3D Noah's Ark cartridge to work around the lockout chip in the Super NES. Um, you know, it's going to be real cool to see if they, if that's the case or if they actually have a, like a regular Super Nintendo cartridge for this game this time around. Um, but yeah, man, this is, this is real cool. And if it, is exactly the same as the original cart it's going to be real interesting to see if they change anything to keep the resale value as high on the original cart as it is because if not collectors are about to be mad this has been a bit animal i'll catch you beautiful people next time